Hello, my name is Lorik, I'm an intern for Twit, and today I'm going to review the E-Pure by Swiss Voice, the home phone, cordless phone. Now, for me, the experience was awesome. For one thing, I'm going to tell you something, the sound quality of this phone is tremendous. I could hear even the most crappy cell phone user's voice so well. And for also, even the crappy cell phone user could hear my hear my voice so well. Like I was call, I called my friend, and he could hear me so well, and I could hear him even clearly. Like I thought I was in the same room with him. It was awesome. Now for the look, for the look, as you can see, it's hollowed out, which is so unique to most to this phone because most phones are not hollowed. They're all like clunky and bulky and looks like a brick. Like I could literally build a house with one of those phones. And the feel is just like. Ah, oh, it so feels so good. And for one thing, the battery life is so great. This small battery right here can hold up to 10 hours of charge. You can keep this off the home thing, uh, the home base, and it can still be alive for like 10 hours straight. Now for the buttons. The buttons are big for even the biggest thumb users, so I can actually just precisely press the button and call somebody. Instead of those small phones where it's like you press one thing and then you're pressing a bunch of other stuff. Now, there's also a Bluetooth one for said cell phones where you can activate where you can activate this through your cell phone. Which for me is kind of redundant, but for those who are afraid to get cancer from your cell phone, it's it's great to have. Here are my pros and cons. For one thing, the pros, great sound quality. You can hear people very crystal clearly. People can hear you crystal clearly, which is amazing. Buttons have, are big and nice for even the biggest thumb users. Plus, the battery life is like 10 hours straight. What? It's longer than any iPhone out there. Now, with all great things, there are certain things that's wrong with it. Say for the cons. For one thing, the screen, for most people who have bad eyesight or people who wear glasses and forget their glasses, the screen's kind of small, as you can see. So it's going to be hard to navigate through it with your with bad eyes if you have any plus also there is no real way to operate the menu like there's no crystal clear way you have to like figure out which buttons operate certain things which it can be a little annoying but you can get live through it plus for those who carry it left or right handed the volume button is like so easy to press like I can press this with my thumb by accident even if I use my left hand I, my middle finger can hit it like instantly and it's gonna be annoying to operate it with the volume so that's the bad thing and if you don't really have a lot of money or you're not looking for the best thing out there and like with your limited amount of paycheck it's up around a uh, hundred and fifteen dollars and that's kind of pricey for even this kind of phone but for me if you really would like to, if you really would like to know my opinion I would say I would give this a definite buy for one thing the con the pros weigh out more than the cons and I mean the cons are like so small I mean like they're like that tiny, tiny small. So if you're really looking for the best phone out there and you're willing to spend a little bit more money on it, I definitely get the E-Pure. Back to you, Leo.